as someone who's like, you know, in the e-commerce space, so to speak now, um, how does it feel watching people gravitate towards purchasing online, right? Because, I mean, you, we remember a time where people were afraid to shop online. I know that sounds crazy in 2019, but there was a time when people didn't really like shop online. Mm -hmm. so how does I mean, it feel to see that turn? It's crazy because one thing you have to learn when you're in business as an entrepreneur, you have to move with the times. And a lot of people get stagnant with wanting to do things their way. You are servicing the public. So when things change, you have to change. When things move, you have to move. So would I ever think that I could sit home, you know, every day with my pajamas on and sell stuff online and it doesn't matter what I look like, what background I come from, as long as their product, somebody likes, they want to buy it? Yeah, because believe it or not, a lot of my customers... Don't get me wrong, I have great customers, great following, all my, you know, luxury girls, my luxury guys, as I call them on Instagram. I love them and they love me back. But I have so many customers from all over. Like when I look through my inventory sheet of, of shipping stuff out, I'm shipping out to Las Vegas, Oregon, Washington, D.C., Ohio, you know, they, places that I've never even heard of. Like, I had a young lady buy something yesterday. She was in Oregon. You know, I, I've never met this lady in my life, but my point is that online helped her reach me and helped me reach her. If I was just based in a store and we didn't have online and social media and all those things, she would not know for a quarter luxury. Yeah, and that's so amazing. So it just makes that's me feel good. That, yeah, it just makes me feel good that I'm servicing all ethnicity. It's not just African-American. So it's Asian people, it's Caucasian people, it's Arab people. Like I've served so many people from 2014 up until now. And it's just a blessing because I started off, like I said, just not being able to pay my bills, you know? Yeah. And this is amazing. Like when you think about that, you're reaching people from all over the nation and you can literally in 2019 run a business from your smartphone. Like, mm -hmm. it's like, what a time to be alive. That's amazing. Right. <laughs> right. Um, tell people you know i'm a real advocate for this i have a son he's almost 13 i drill this into him every day there's no way you can tell me in 2019 that you can't make any money i'm not saying that you want to be a millionaire i'm saying that if you wake up every day and you have a phone like you said and you have no money you, you may not even have five dollars there's no way you could tell me that you cannot make any money because there's so many acts out there so many things that you could do, even with the real estate. You know, like you mentioned the wholesaling. You can wholesale with people all over the country. They buy properties sight unseen. So for me, when, when a person say what they can't do, no, you don't want to do that. Because if you wanted to do that and you apply yourself, you would do that. Like for me, I don't waste time. So I change the way I move. So as far as me having conversations with people on the phone every day and going out and partying and going on dates and all this stuff. I don't do those things anymore because my time is valuable. So when I think about my time, I look at it like money. So when I get up in the morning, I'm focused. So a lot of people need to understand if you focus more on you and stop focusing on the frivolous things that's going to be here when you did and born, you'll be fine. 